Ah! What would be the supreme lens mystery? Okay, let's take a look at this lens over here, the Auto Reconon. 55 millimeter f1.4, six aperture blades. And over here we have a later production. Oh my god, it's the same lens, the Auto Reconon f1.4, 55 millimeter. Hmm, okay. Same six aperture blades. Aha, mm -hmm. uh -huh. so, yeah, let's uh, turn on our Geiger counter. Supreme Lens Mystery, hold on, bear with me for a second. Okay. Mm, nope, nothing. Nope. Hot, hot, hot. Not, not, not. So, now the mystery becomes is that since this one has a bunch of radioactive thorium in it and they're both identically the same lens, well, obviously not identically, but they are the same lens, which one do you think renders color saturation and micro contrast better? The thorium radioactive doped Autoreconon 55mm f1.4 or the just plain glass Autoreconon 55mm f1.4? Mm -hmm. What do you think the answer is? No one's ever done a video like this anywhere on the web that I know of. No, and definitely not on YouTube. Nobody's done anything like this. Nobody. Most people don't even know what the hell the difference is. If I were to put it in really, really, really simple terms, um, what the uh, thorium, it's not a coating, it's actually in the glass. What the thorium does, without getting into electricity and magnetic permeability and dielectric permittivity, is that the radioactive thorium lets, now you say, well, it changes the refractive index. No, 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 what it really does, since everything is electrical, is it's like greasing your frying pan so, you know, stuff doesn't stick to it. The radioactive thorium is like greasing the frying pan of the lens so that the light goes right through it. Yeah, versus just regular glass. Yeah, I put it in really, really simplex layman's analogy that's what that radiation does so which one do you think renders black and white micro contrast better since they're both the same lens mm, what's the answer stay tuned for another episode of days of our lives we'll give you the answer